every blooming fragrant lilac. I don't, I don't know if you've ever smelled lilac before. If you have, you would never forget it. It is my number one favorite scent of a flower. I like it better than roses. Um, I like it better than almost any other flower, I, any other flower. I mean, if I was to put it in order, my favorites are lilac, and then I like um, honeysuckle, uh, and then I like Lily of the Valley. Those are the three flowers I think smell, and all of those are, are used in perfumes. I have it available in, per, uh, in the uh, purple, which sold out quickly last time. I have it available in the pink. My father had these all over our yard. In like, they were like the big, tall, like, like shrubs that were like six, seven feet tall. These are a little smaller version, but you're gonna get that amazing scent of lilac. My favorite, pink or purple. It comes in a very, very uh, large, planting already. If you look at that, that's how you're going to get it. It's going to grow very, very fast. And I will tell you, when you smell the flowers that come off of this, it's abs the only word I can think of is heavenly. I absolutely love it. It reminds me of my dad. It makes me uh, happy and sad at the same time, but I absolutely love them. Uh, Rochelle, we brought these in last week. They sold out in one airing and they're going to sell out again. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not surprised. No, these are really, really special. Um, and uh, I mean, if you've grown lilac, they're such a, an heirloom plant that so many of us have fond memories of them growing at grandma's house or, you know, wherever, because they do, uh, they last for a long time. They're very, um, just the aroma of them. You'll never forget it. Once you get used to it, once you fall in love with it, you kind of crave it. You can't wait for lilac season next year. And that's what's particularly great about this variety. Um, if you've grown them, you know lilac season lasts, I don't know, maybe three weeks or so. All those lilacs come out, that smell just, you know, you kind of, you know it when you smell it. You may not even see the blooms before you start smelling the lilac season that's upon us. But this is a rebloomer. That's what's so exciting about this particular variety. A lot of times we try to bloom, uh, breed reblooming into a lot of plants in the industry. Um, and it's sometimes more successful than others. We get better at it over time. Sometimes what happens is they rebloom, but they're kind of like these little paltry blooms here and there. They're nothing like the original uh, bloom, you know, cycle that it goes through. This one is particularly great because those the reblooming qualities are actually very strong. So you really are going to get a pretty significant. Uh, rebloom to this. So, you know, we're extending lilac season, which is so, so nice. And this variety too, it doesn't get super big, three to four feet. So you can also grow this in a container. It's a, it's a little bit smaller one. And then the other thing I love about this, I have a ton of lilacs out in my garden, um, but none of them have the leaves that are quite like this. This one has just a little bit smaller, more fluttery leaf. I have to say I'm really, really drawn to it. Like, look at that just like shimmer almost in the breeze. I, I, it's kind of like an aspen or a maidenhair fern. It's just really pretty. It has a lot of nice movement to it. So um, yeah, this is a great, and, and look at this. This is out of the box. Yeah, this is a nice big. size shrub. Honestly, uh, that's a it, great plant. And I always say, if you've never had lilac in your yard, you have to try it. If you don't love like, like incredibly heavenly, like light, beautiful fragrant flowers, don't buy this because I'm telling you, and I'm a dude, okay? I, you know, I'm like, I, I mean, I, I appreciate, like I have a very keen sense of smell. That's why I like to cook. I think I've got an extra developed sense of smell. I smell everything. Uh, but anyway, I, I can smell these things from, from like 100 yards away. It's that incredible. And when you put them in your yard, if you put them on a porch or patio, that it's a light fragrance, but it's intense. If, if that's the only way I can, I can say it. And it doesn't smell like anything else, you know? It's funny, a lot of the other scents out there, either they have sweet notes or they have sort of fruity notes. I can never figure out what lilac is. All I know is it's my favorite. It's got something that's just, it's so beautiful. So if you've never tried it, you're gonna get either one of the, uh, the purple or the pink. We are extremely busy. It's $24.95. This will be so rewarding. You know, the thing I love about plants, like kids, and I tell you this all the time, is that you put a little bit into it and you get so much in return, all right? And none of the plants that we, that we send you are hard to grow. We wouldn't do that, because if you, if you suck at gardening and you're killing your plants, you're not gonna keep buying them from us. So we give you ones that are easy to grow. How do we know where to and when to send them? We, we, we have your address. When you place your order, we look at your zip code and we're like, okay, they live in Montana. So we're gonna wait till the end of April, early May before we send it there. We're not gonna charge you till it goes in the mail. 
if you live in the middle of the country, same thing. Okay, so April-ish, so probably in the next week or two, if you live down south like we are here in Florida or Texas or Cal parts of California, you're gonna get them directly, okay? So no worries, no issues. We include that that pamphlet that shows you how to, how to do it. I also love, Rochelle, the color of these because they're, they would be great even if you wanted to use these as cuttings uh, in a little bouquet. Mm. I love that, I love the color because it's a really great sort of lavendery purple and that pink is kind of, yeah. it's not really a rosy, it's more of a pink pink, you know? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a picky pink person, you know, like I'm not into the candy pinks. I love these more softer baby like what pinks you're in the yeah, garden. See? I just think yeah. they, yeah, like I'm wearing, yeah. They, they, they just, they make me a lot happier than the ones that are really kind of blaring in my eye and that's what, uh, that's what this one is. Uh, it goes really well with the, you know, lavender, lavender of the, of the, of the purple. Um, so if you wanted a combination, the pink and purple look gorgeous together, but I love the pink too, because, you know, with lilac, I mean, lilac is the plant. It's also, we, you know, lilac's a color, it's a color of purple. Um, yeah. you know, so we're used to seeing it in purple. That is the way you see most lilacs. Um, so I, I'm always drawn to something a little bit different, a little more surprising, a pink lilac. I mean, that's just not something you see every no, day. So I, never saw I, it. I love that yeah. for that as well. Until I mean, we got it on uh, our show. When people come to my garden, they always expect it to have something special. So, yeah. you know, a pink I lilac, that's perfect. It is called the Maria Stern Rose. It is only $17.95. You wanna talk about beautiful blossoms? Do you know that this plant, here it is right here. First of all, I love the color. I don't think I've ever seen roses in this deep of a coral. You sometimes see them in a lighter color, but look at how beautiful, I'll give it a little spin. Look at how pretty those flowers are. So it's called Maria Stern. These are jumbo roses. You know, a lot of times we do the little um, knockout roses, little smaller ones, little compact. These are huge, huge roses. You're gonna get, up to 100 blossoms a season, 100 blossoms a season. It is ideal for cut flowers as they grow tall, like uh, long stem. It's uh, beautiful in arrangements. They are super durable. The way they've been bred, they're super durable. They are sub-zero hardy, which means even if temperatures go down, you don't have to worry. They're also heat and drought tolerant. The bloom period is very long. It's gonna go all throughout the summer into frost, and the color, that peachy orange is amazing. Rochelle, this is flipping me out. These are amazing. And for the price, $17.95. You know, oh, this is a great, great deal and also a great gift. I just have to say, I'm, I'm a girl who uh, has kids who've given me beautiful flowers for the holidays. I cherish them. I used to give them to my mom. She made us move them from house to house when we moved house. It took days and weeks to move just the garden plants that we'd given her. But this rose, Look at this, this is how it's gonna come. It's gonna actually be in a bag. If you can't plant it right away, leave it in the plastic. You're gonna plant it in a container like this. And here's the thing about the Maria Stern Rose. It has been around, it was originally bred by a breeder up here actually in Rhode Island. And it has been on the market since I, I believe the 1940s, which says a lot. It says a lot because in the horticulture industry, if something doesn't perform year in and year out, or if it's not popular and beloved, we don't keep selling it. So if something's been going for that long, you know it's gotta be good. And the reason this one is so good, on top of everything that Guy just said, uh, with its growth and bloom and the beautiful color and all of that, is it smells amazing. Yeah. This is one of those roses that you buy for the scents on top of all the rest of it. Um, it's that full package rose. You all know that you've kind of, you know, we have certain roses, some of the landscape roses, for example, they, you know, they're these big colorful bushes, but they don't always smell as great. You know, other ones, they're maybe they're small, they're different. Yeah. All, every, every rose has its unique qualities. This is one of those that has all of the classic rose qualities all wrapped up into one package, which is sometimes hard to find you know you just you, you kind of miss out on one or the other sometimes so i mean this is uh reliable great you're going to be getting the bare root stock like i showed you here uh which is the absolute best way to get roses the reason why it's so good is because you're getting a mature plant that is yeah. really uh ready to go it's been pruned back root pruned as well as top pruned which is going to give you the best um 
it, it, it gives makes it have its best ability to take to the soil and throw down new roots and and be really healthy right away in that first year. So that's that's why rosarians, everybody in the industry, we much prefer oh, yeah. bare root roses to uh, to potted roses. They just establish and get bigger and better faster. And yeah. you, as a customer, we can give you a bigger, better rose because we're not shipping dirt and yeah. that kind of thing. So right. um, you know. <clears throat> This is this is the way to go, roses, bare root, and this is just such an all-around winner. You cannot got, go wrong with this one. I got to tell you, the scent. This is this is spectacular. Because you know what's funny? I I don't have, and at seventeen ninety five. I, I'm probably going to shop today because I'm getting I'm getting two of the lilac. I already got two of the um, of the. Um, a butterfly bush. I, this is only $17.95. I love roses that have a great scent because mine, I have mostly knockout roses and they don't really smell. They're little. They're pretty as all heck, but but they don't, they don't have a smell. Look at how packed this is. And this is a lot. This is one we cut. This is a real rose right here, okay? Look at how healthy that rose is and the scent. It, it's absolutely amazing. Look at how jam-packed. You know, when I read that you're going to get up to 100 roses a season, that's a lot of roses, okay? I mean, we've got about eight or 10 on here right now. That's a lot of roses. Remember, roses are gonna last a bit, but look at how many petals are inside there. They're beautiful. And it, what I really love about these two, Rochelle, that color, I don't think I've ever mm -hmm. seen a color in a, at a florist of this depth of that peachy orange, right? It's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is, um, they almost look like cabbage roses. I don't know if you're familiar yeah, with those because yep. the, the petals are so dense and, and they're, they're just so tight. And, and then they have this um, peachy color, which all the way also, by the way, I mean, it's an orangey color, but it also sometimes gets these beautiful yellow tones to it too. So it is very unique. It's not something you're going to see at the florist. And you're certainly not going to be able to get upwards of 100 blooms in a season for $18. That's just insane. So um, that's... <laughs> the idea of having this in your garden, though, even having a few, planting them in a container, if you'd like. These are going to be hardy north to south. Um, as I said before, these were bred in Rhode Island. That's zone seven. So that tells you a little bit something about how tough these are. Um, and I mean, up here in Massachusetts, I can grow these very easily. Um, I even think my, my parents who live up on the hillsides, mountainsides of, my, of Colorado can grow these ones down in zone four. So um, it doesn't matter where you are. This is going to be one of those roses that you can really cool. rely on if you're a rose lover. And by the way, here's how we'll ship it. Remember, if you're in the northern part of the country, you got to wait a little bit, but you don't get charged, all right? But you want this. You're not going to find this in a garden store, not in that uh, bare root. And remember, I love that uh, Rochelle taught me that because, you know, people go and they'll buy a, a rose plant and they'll be like, eh, they start to die and they're already trimming them off. You're getting the plant the way people who love roses want them. They want that bare root because it's ready to go. It's, I mean, and if you see it, it's not a little plant. This is a big piece of bare root stock right here, okay? Submerge the, the roots. That's all you need to do. And uh, put it in a good size pot and, and like probably all the size that we have here and wait for these to start coming out. Look, it matches the little guy on my shirt. Uh, you are going to love these. We are very busy right now. Uh, for $17.95, I want you to look at this. I mean, what would you pay for a dozen beautiful roses in this color, long stem roses. You probably spend 50 bucks. On Mother's Day, you'll probably spend $100, okay? So you're getting that times about 10, okay? Because you're gonna get up, as we said, about 100 different blooms on this. Uh, free shipping and handling. Uh, I would tell you to use the $40 gift card, but I don't want you to use that on something that's not $40. So just get this a $20 bill, get it home. The amount of beauty you'll get out of this and satisfaction will be a hundredfold. And by the way, great gift for mom, great gift for dads. Dads like roses too, as I sit here holding one. Uh, so d d don't worry, it could be a friend, maybe a neighbor who's taking care of you or helped you out. This is such an, I, I think giving plants as a gift is the best gift, right? Candy mm -hmm. goes away, you're not gonna give your friends, you don't wanna give them money, you wanna give them something beautiful that's gonna continue to, to give, and that's what flowers do. Uh, we get a very, uh, I, I love the interesting foliage because remember, it's roses. So you're gonna get a deep green, on the foliage. It'll also have little hints of red, as you know, many rose bushes yeah. do, right? So I, you really get a lot of different color mixed in with this, Rochelle. 
Yeah, yeah, it's the new leaves that kind of come out red and then they mature green, but they're a big, they're a deep, rich green. This looks great mixed in a border with other flowers. Um, you know, we've we've had uh, lavender and some other plants that we offer a leaf and petal um, that you can mix with this. This is uh, a good full sun plant, so you definitely want to keep it full sun. You can do the container um, as I have here. I would say one per 16 inch container. This is a 16 inch container. If you go bigger, then you have some room to do some other things around the outside uh, as well, around the base, I mean. Uh, or just plant it straight in the ground. I mean, these are perennials. These are gonna come back bigger and better every year. This stock will only continue to get thicker and stronger and these roots more established in your garden pumping out even more big, beautiful flowers. So, you know, find a spot for it permanently. You do have that one year guarantee. If you have any worries about growing roses, I know uh, roses can make people anxious. They used to make me anxious as a baby gardener. I was always nervous about them, but you've got the one year guarantee. So if you put it in the ground, you're not seeing it do what you expect it to do. Give us a call. You're gonna get the brochure that we give all of our, where is it right here? All of our, uh, this is the one for the butterfly bush, but the rose one is just the same. Right here on the back is all of our contact details at our nursery our staff that answers the phone are literally sitting right there next to the plants they know a lot about gardening across the country they know a lot about all of our plants they know a lot about plants in general so if you have any questions about any of it or if a year from now and that's a year from when you receive it, not when you uh, pay for it. So some of the people, some of you who are up here where I am, you're not going to get this until May. It's a year from May. That's when you still have your guarantee. So next spring, if it doesn't come back and you're not seeing it leaf out and do what it should be doing, you can still call us up and get yep. yourself uh, well, sorted out with a new rose. It's so nice to have a gardener ready when you need them because not all of us have a green thumb, right? But what's nice about all the plants yeah. that we bring you, we don't bring you anything that's hard to grow because that wouldn't make sense, right? We understand that you're not all botanists, you're not all gardeners, you don't all have de degrees in horticulture. We wanna grow stuff on our, on our back porch. We wanna grow stuff in our yard. So that's why we pick things that you're not gonna find at every garden store. Good luck, go out and try, try to find find bare root uh, Maria Stern rose bush out in your garden store. You're not going to find it, okay? Uh, th because they're very select, right? Uh, and, and for $17.95 to get that fully established and ready to go, all you got to do is pop it in the ground, throw some soil on it, and just water it and keep an eye on it. And then just enjoy those flowers all year long. Great gift for mom for Mother's Day. Perfect plant for Easter. This was so popular. Actually, I think this might be its third year. It's called our garden work seat. I'm just gonna pull them up a little bit closer to me. Uh, you have your choice of green or gray. Coolest thing ever. Uh, when you're out doing your gardening, and I'm gonna actually put my cards down, um, you want a, a comfortable seat that's at the right level of your plants. Um, I weigh 200 and about 220 pounds is what I weigh. This only weighs about five pounds, but it holds over 300 pounds. What do we love about it when you're working in the garden? Look at that, right? I can do my MC Hammer while I'm in the garden. How cool is that? Or if you're washing your car, or if you're painting the baseboards, all right? The coolest thing I've ever seen, right? You've got these big jumbo wheels on here, and they're not air-filled. You don't have to worry about them ever shrinking down. And then inside, you've actually got, check it out, you've actually got storage. It's like an ottoman. All right, we cannot keep these guys in stock. They are absolutely awesome. Just choose green or choose gray. What a great friend to have. Save your knees, save your back. Well, any kind of chore you need to do. Chad, I love this. That's why we bring it back every year. Yeah, one of my favorite things to do here at the network is bring you items that make gardening, planting, you know, organizing, cleaning all easier, right? Getting up and down from the ground can be hard. And if you move along a project, you have to get up and down many times to keep moving along, whether you're just mulching, plant, uh, putting your node dig, edging in, you name it. So to have something that you can just use your feet and roll around or scoot around, as I like to say, watch this, as I if I just scoot, you can see how easily it rolls. You're not gonna use it like this, of course, lifting your feet up and trying to roll really far. But here's the thing, with all the storage on the inside, you could put your mulch, your extra plants, your rock, your bird seeds, your sand, whatever it is, you could put it inside, you could do this, and you can just scoot it along to your project. When you get to your project, 
You, it doesn't matter how you sit on it because it holds 330 pounds. When you get to your project and you sit down on it and you're planting and you're gardening or doing whatever you're doing, now I don't have to get back up to move down. All I have to do is take a step with my foot. There's nothing electronic here. There's nothing to plug in. Now I can work on this section. Let me go down here, work on this section. Painting the baseboards, dusting the baseboards, organizing under the kitchen sink, you name it. Now I always like to keep my fan in there. You can keep a water in there. You can keep your gardening gloves in there. You can keep your tools in there. Because guy, what we've been so used to is really getting on our knees, right? And then yeah, getting dirty yeah. and rocky and it hurts our knees. And my goodness, if there's anybody who knows gardening, it's Guy Yovan. Thank and you. And if we're gonna take it, if we're right, I, I've seen your house. If you're <laughs> gonna take it seriously, Guy, what does it take? It doesn't take five minutes or what 10 minutes. You're, yeah, what you're gonna be it? out there for half an hour. Yeah. Look at her cleaning, she's just scooting along. Hey, <laughs> and, and let me tell you, not to be confused with our garden kneeler, which is an amazing product, but remember with the garden dealer, you have to lift it and you have to move it from place to place. What's nice about this is that you don't have to worry about that. You can sit on it, you can go in any direction. And like I said, I love, I have the garden kneeler. I love that thing. But when you're out in the garden and you need to just move and you don't wanna have to get up and down everywhere you go, you just slide over. I mean, think about how many things I'll turn so I'm facing you think about how many areas of your of your around your home where you're doing work all right whether you're washing the car you're painting something you're working uh, in front of you maybe maybe you're a senior and you want to get down on the level of your kids or grandkids right to play with them right now you can be here and you can move around you can hang maybe it's just uh, you know maybe you're outside uh, you know at your campfire and you're like I love this little seat it's perfect I'm roasting marshmallows all that stuff $29.95, choose gray or choose green, storage inside, super durable, 330 pounds. Listen, I can always tell how well something is made by that right there where it says the weight. Because if that said 200 pounds, you'd be like, okay, if I'm borderline 200, 330 pounds is a substantial amount of weight to be able to put on there. So you don't have to worry about that. And I can't emphasize enough, even just your back, right? You know, you're not, you're not bending over. You're literally, you keep your, you know, just like you're sitting in a chair and you can do all the work that's in front of you. Ideal for that. Item number 730655. This would be a good item to get with your brand new eight cent credit card because with shipping and handling and tax, you'd probably be at around 39, 40 bucks. Take advantage of that today, all right? We don't do the $40 uh, gift very often when you open up a credit card. So today is a great day to be able to do that. I just think, you know what? What, we're at April 1st, right? Gardening season, uh, 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 do-it-yourself season. That's what, that's what April is. That's when we start planting, cleaning, trimming, pruning. That's why I have a pressure washer. I got the pole saw coming up. These are all ways to get our house ready for springtime and summer. And this is a great item, Chad. Just, I love it. Yeah, exactly. Well, we've been used to for so long is we buy little foam pads, we buy knee pads, you name it. We buy all kinds of things. And then we have to get on our knees and move those things along. Quite frankly, Guy, if this did not hold 330 pounds or somewhere close to that, I would not be presenting it. It's really important to me that people can sit on this with confidence and know that they're gonna be able to move along. Do you see how gigantic those wheels are? They are not air tires, they are ABS plastic tires, which means you're never gonna to have to air them up, they're never gonna go flat. Even if you roll over like rock and mulch and things like that, where you might worry about puncturing one of those tires, we've got rid of all those worries because these are that really high durability plastic that you're not gonna to have to worry about ever getting on an air compressor, ever filling up, whether you're rolling from plant bed to plant bread, but here's, a, here's the thing. We used to have to do this, right? You have to get on your knees. Oh, now let me move this along to this space. I mean, you get the idea. These were terrible, same with knee pads. Now you just take it, you sit on this with up to 330 pounds and you roll from project to project and then to have all the storage on the inside guy where you can keep all your extra tools, materials, yeah. anything you need. It really is a home run. And actually, it couldn't be more fun than it is. I was, I was <laughs> just gonna say, if you wanna buy this for your kids to store some of their toys when they're playing, then yeah. you can use it when you need to garden. So it's always right. being used. They'd love it. Because when I was, my, my son would have loved a little car to drive around in his yeah. room and put all his <laughs> Legos in. That'd be awesome. See, what's so cool about the expandable fence is it's expandable, right? So you're looking here and you're saying, wow, that's a, that's a pretty partition. I would like to have that, but you know, uh, at my house. Well, the reality is this is what we're hiding. A nasty chain link fence, right? Nobody, look at, look at that. I mean, to me, that's like keep out.
right? That's keep out, do not pass, no entry, right? You put this in front of it, and you know what it says? It says, I care about my yard, and I would like a little bit of privacy, <laughs> but, but you know what I mean? But it softens that whole thing. And the cool part about the expandable fence is it can be any shape you want. If you want more privacy, you shrink it up, right? Maybe put that um, where your outdoor shower is. You can get a couple of them if you want to. If you want to hide your recycle bins, you open it up here. If you want to use it like I did uh, under the crawl space of my deck, you stretch it all the way out here. So it'll go from two feet, look at that, all the way up to five feet dense, nine feet tall. I mean, the thing will go anywhere, but it is meant to conceal. So I have uh, a bunch of different colors. This is purple. I have it available in, if we walk over here, where do I put my cards? Walk over there, you guys, with me. So I've got it available in purple. I have it available in yellow. I have it available in green. I have it available in white. Did I miss any of them? And orange. All right, so those are the colors that you can get. And they're just leaves. Um, they're faux leaves. This is actually real willow wood on the other side. They used real wood, so this will weather. Uh, like natural wood, uh, wood as well. All woven together. You can adhere this to any surface that you want to put it on if you want to put it on your deck maybe you live in an apartment and you got a little sun porch and you're like i don't you know they can see through the bars i want to put this up you can do that as well uh deb byers is standing by she'll give you a, a little tour and a little more information but deb this has been one of our hottest sellers year after year year after year is right guy because once your customer sees how great it is People have been coming back for more and more and more because the versatility is built right in. We all have something we want to hide, whether it's our air handler or our recycling or maybe our pool, the workings of our pool or our hot tub. You can do it with this gorgeous expandable fence that looks real. Each one of these beautiful leaves are variegated to look real. They're specially treated so they will not fade. So if you have a favorite color, the yellow, the orange, or the purple, and you want to go ahead and stock up on them now because you've enjoyed them so much and you need more, the colors will work back to the ones that you already have. But I'm holding the brand new pink, which happens to be my new favorite. And look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. It's pink and green and looks like mother nature. And then when you turn it around and you see that gorgeous willow wood lattice if you're using this between you and your neighbor to prevent privacy or shade you're going to see those beautiful leaves and they're going to see this gorgeous lattice work so it's a win-win-win for everybody enjoying this beautiful face and fence and that's the reason why we have sold so many of them and it's always been so popular because it's so useful I have it behind me on my regular plain fence, and you would be hard pressed to tell which is the foe and which of my plants are real because the improvements team worked very hard to make these beautiful fences look like mother nature hand painted them. That's the reason why they've been so hugely popular. And by the way, I could double up on these and complete the entire, completely cover the entire fence. I get 12 zip ties to attach it to virtually anything and then you've got all that beauty that will give you beauty all season long and when you put this up at the beginning of the season at the end of the season if you choose to put them away that gorgeous color will maintain itself because they're specially treated <clears throat> guys these really are fabulous and that's the reason why they've been so hugely popular every time that we've enjoyed uh, presenting them. Well, you know, I, I just, it, it gives us a really decorative way to hide something that maybe we would try to figure out another way to do it, right? We'd be like, like, especially with your recycle cans or your garbage bins, or I know a lot of times people live in a neighborhood where they'll have those, the, 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 the town will put a power box out on the corner. And you're like, that thing's hideous. Why do they put that there? You may not have a choice. Maybe it's just an area uh, where you store things, right? In your yard, or maybe it's just a regular old chain link fence. Like we said, and you want to jazz it up a little little bit. I love the idea of having a, a deck and putting it around the deck so that people can't really see in. You know, a lot of times if you live in an apartment complex, you may have a little outdoor area and you're like, I would like the sides of that to not see. Or maybe you've got an outdoor shower and you're, you know, and it's visible uh, to the neighbors and you're like, I'd like to just cover that. The nice thing about this is it'll adapt to whatever size of space that you want. So again, the colors are white. And that's just a little bit of the, of the color in the center of the leaf. Uh, it also comes available in purple. 
We have yellow, we have orange, and we have pink as well. Free shipping and handling today. We don't always get to do that. So if you wanna buy more than one of these, I use two. Uh, on the crawl space of, my, of where my deck is. Uh, just, and I wanted to do it because it, it just looked empty underneath. Nothing's growing under there. So I put it on there and I'll tell you, it looks amazing. 775293 on sale, $34.95 with free shipping. Deb Byers, I know you're coming back. Top of the next hour. I, yeah, I am coming back with the fabulous umbrella. So Yay. stay tuned. It's a real wow, guy. I can't wait. Thank you, my dear. We'll see you in just a little bit. Item number is 775293. My issue is I have rock gardens. I have stones in the backyard. You guys have all seen my back patio. And um, I, I get weeds. I just get weeds. I don't like using any of the real terrible, nasty stuff. But I still like to spray them, so I buy the best stuff I can find. I bought this, and I will tell you, because I had another sprayer for years and years, all right? I had the old ones that you pump, nightmare. Nobody wants to pump a sprayer. This is built-in battery powered, okay? It has a built-in rechargeable battery. All you do is plug it in, charge it up for a couple hours, fill it up with whatever it is you wanna spray, take it outside, good to go. Comes with a little harness to put over your shoulder. It is the most affordable power sprayer that we offer. And I will tell you, from experience, this thing is awesome. It's lightweight. You can take it anywhere you go. Uh, it's, it's got the same sprayer like you would see in a regular sprayer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure it's on. It's pumped up. And all I do, spray it, right? I can adjust the amount of spray. I can go straight as an arrow, or I can go nice mist if I wanna water my plants. And I can even lock it into place. Look, I've locked it into place. I'm not even, I'm not even, uh, not even pushing anything. So it also will spray on its own. I click it back. Automatically turns off, turn the power off. It's all I need to do. I love this thing. And for $39.99, Bobby Milliken's joining us. Bobby, so, I'll tell you, Sun Joe does it again and again and again. And three year warranty, baby, three years. Yeah, I mean, that's amazing when you think about it. What other product does that? And the reason Sun Joe does that is because we stand behind our products. And I'll tell you what, guys, it's so funny. What's better than a live presentation when I can see my neighbor literally two doors down using a Sun Joe product <laughs> as we speak like that? That makes me very happy. So for this, it's a chemical sprayer, but don't let that fool you. All kind of chemicals, all kind of liquids, all kind of solutions. So all you do is use your thumb and look. I don't know if you can see the stream, but there I'm spraying that quickly, that easily, and that instantly. So whether it's your lawn back here, maybe you've got some you know, liquid fertilizer and you're giving your lawn the nutrients that it needs. Maybe you're just simply putting water in this guy and you're just changing it to a little bit more of a mist and you're getting your flowers that easy. And not to mention, not just for outside, you can take this inside because let me come to camera and show you the nozzle. Like you showed a little bit ago, you've got some different spray options. How you turn it, I don't wanna get the camera wet. See, I could go from kind of a laser beam, if you can see that, and I twist it a little bit and then I get to the more of the fan or the mister. So that is what I'm talking about when you wanna go inside with your plants. Now we give you everything you need. Some of our other products have a battery. Those are great. I mean, an extra battery. This is a built-in battery, which is really cool because all you got to do is recharge it. You don't have to buy an extra part. You don't have to buy an extra batteries. We give you the charging cord. We give you the shoulder strap so that you can carry it around. Give it a few hours charge, and you're going to get a lot of runtime. Matter of fact, with this 3-watt motor guy, you're going to get 15 gallons per charge. This is, now, this is a one-gallon tank. Can you imagine going through 15 gallons of these? I mean, no one's going to do that, right? No. Come on. Yeah, no. listen. This is perfect for me, right? I got to go out. I got to spray the rocks and get rid of all the weeds. If I, if I wanted, I could, I could put a little bleach solution in there if I wanted to clean off the pavers. But this is how easy it is. If I want to water plants, I mean, check it out. I can walk up here, and from a distance, I can water any of my delicate plants, okay? If I wanna water something down here where my little turtle is, I, I, I can water something there. I love the fact that I can change the spray, I'm trying to see where the best place is to see the spray, right there. I can tighten it up, I can make it a mist. Look at how nice that is. So if you've got herb gardens and things like that, you can mist it. And if I wanna go something more direct, I can turn it into a little laser. And this would be great for like getting in the cracks and crevices, sell the weeds we got here. I don't know if yeah, yeah. you can see you've got little weeds in there so I can get those. I can do all that. And Bobby, you know, the, uh, the last one that I had, the last uh, sprayer I had, 
I actually, yeah. it was, I mean, I liked it, but I had a separate battery pack, so I had to have that charged separately. With this, everything is built right in, even the measuring cup. So if you're making solutions, it's so easy. I, that's what I love about Sanjo. They make things so easy. Exactly. And to, to, you know, to be perfectly honest, what are most of us currently doing? We've been using, you know, something like this that you pay a lot of money for at the big box stores because, well, for two reasons, because it's pre-mixed and they give you this nice, uh, you know, quote, fancy wand. So this is good for one thing and one thing only. You're not reusing this. You're not putting other solutions in this. You're not getting your money's worth out of this particular one right here. You're just kind of throwing your money away when it comes to this with the wand. The other thing a lot of us are still doing is we kind of grew up on this, right? <laughs> we're, we're kind of leaning down, breaking our back, and we're doing the, the pump, pump, pump it up. And then, can you see, is anything coming out of that? Like, you can see I'm literally <laughs> pumping that. I don't know. My point is, is like, why deal with this when you can have something that's so simple, so easy? It's such a good solution. That's what Sancho does is they, they come up with great solutions for everyday problems, help you and I be better, you know, gardeners, better weekend warriors, get the job done. Super simple. Now, guy, you could put other solutions in here. You could put even, you know, you could take this to your car and do the windshield if you want to do windshield solution. You could do the brake dust and put some stuff in there. If you have pests, like I have some ants back here and the trail right back here, I could use this for pests control and get up and around the archways and down here in the cracks of my driveway. I think the single most important use really guy is what people are going to use this for is their weed killing. Yeah, so you put your weed solution right in here, <clears throat> get down there without bending over. And I got a lot of dollar weeds back in here behind my bigger plants and I can knock them out quickly and easily. Yeah, you're hundred percent right, uh, Bobby. And that's, that's really what I, what I like about it is, is, is that I can shoot this where at whatever direction I want to hit the camera. I'll, I'll do it that way. But you see, I've got that great control. So if I want to get in a crack or crevice, I can do that. And then remember, if I want to uh, tone it down to a sprayer, look at that mist. I mean, that's that's perfect for like doing, uh, you know, delicate items. If you've got flowers outside and you want to mist them a little bit. And then, you know, I can go up, I can crank it up a little more direct all the way to that laser. And and all I'm doing, and by the way, here's, here's what you do with your thumb. Push it forward and lock that trigger. And now it's locked on. See that? I don't have to hold. I don't have to hold anything. All I do is reach forward with my thumb and pull it back, and that turns it off. Uh, that's how simple this is. When you get it, because um, I got mine, all you need to do <clears throat> comes. The whole thing comes put together except for this, and all you do is you take the, this piece and you screw it on with a little cap. It literally, you're up and you're spraying in five minutes. All right, we're moving in on what? Almost 500 of these have already been spoken for, and with good reason. It's Sunjo. I mean, Bobby, we talk about it all the time. I don't have another company here that does a, a warranty like Sunjo. Most of them are one year, two year. Sunjo, just three years. Yeah, I mean, not that I know of. That's, you know, that's why whatever line it is, Aqua Joe, Power Joe, Sunjo, yeah. Snowjo, they're all great products. They stand behind all of them. With something like this, I mean, it's one thing if, you know, I'm selling you some big crazy chainsaw that you're little. This is not that. This is for everyday use. You are going to, I use mine at least every week this the blower i use every day that's coming up later but this i use every day and the second most common use that i use my unit for is my back fence i don't know if you have any fencing it looks a little bit something like this you get kind of this kind of this grayish greenish mold stuff you put a little bit of 50 50 bleach water solution put that in your chemical sprayer and my point is it may not come off right here set it for about an hour put your bleach on there set it like yeah. this spray it down then you come back with a pressure washer dude that stuff is gone that's what makes the magic come back when you get back to this pure white on your fencing for that particular use. Yeah, and, you, and what's nice too, Bobby, is you don't have to use your hands, really. You don't have to put your hands in any bleach or any chemical solution. You're just spraying it on and just kind of rinsing it off. That's all that you need to do. Yeah. So grab it while you can. Over 500 people have picked it up. If you buy it today, we've done a couple things. One, we dropped the price a little bit. We also are doing our HSN credit card offer, which gives you $40 off. So you would get this essentially, you'd pay, uh, you'd get a penny back, but then you'd have to pay a little bit of shipping and handling, uh, but that's all you would pay. So it's a great way to join the family of HSN, uh, but get it home. Whether you're a gardener, whether you're a uh, do-it-yourselfer, uh, cleaner, I mean, all those different things, um, you could you could uh, do this, uh, use this in a variety of places in your home. I mentioned you can use it with Spray and Grow, uh, which we offer here in our garden show. You 
could also use it with the no more bugs. If you want an industrial one, hey, listen, you could be your own, you could be your own uh, pest control person. Trust me, it's not that hard. Most of the stuff they use is the same stuff, but ours is, our stuff's a little bit better as far as, uh, you know, keeping all the chemicals out of your life. But it, hey, if you still like to use chemicals, don't worry, you can still do that as well. All right, we have to do a quick emergency. We have a live cardinal, a live cardinal on the bird feeder. Bobby, see that? Oh, wow. Isn't that awesome? Wow, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. <laughs> we love it. See? Hey, that's worth the interruption. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's, what I, well I, I, every time a cardinal, remember, cardinals appear, there's angels around, right? But we, we always say that if you put a bird feeder out, they'll come, and that's a perfect example right there. So anyway, uh, we're just about out of time. Bobby, as always, wonderful job. People are buying sprayers. It's our big pick of the show. Good job, friend. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you later. All right, my friend. Take care. 739-985 is the item number. You don't have to worry about running any cords. You don't need any batteries. You don't have to dig any trenches. If you want light, look at that. If you want light in your house, whether it's in your walkways, whether it's in your garden, maybe it's around a fountain, around your mailbox, uh, up against the house, wherever you want them, this is my number one pick for our solar disc lights out of because we have several different varieties of them. I love getting 10 because trust me, you're gonna want them. You'll probably want 20, but you can initially order 10, okay? What makes these so unique is that these ones actually swivel. I'll hold it in my hand until uh, Rebecca can get a shot of it. There you go. So when I talk about swivel, so they, they lay on the ground and they up light, all right? I don't understand lights that go down. I don't need to see what the dirt looks like. I wanna see the plants, right, at night. And with these, you can tilt the light. They come with these little uh, stakes. I don't have one out here, but you can stake them into the ground. You're gonna get a stake for each one of these, or you can lay them flat on the ground. But the cool part is, if you wanna tilt them towards your, you know, towards your, uh, the, the side of the house, you're gonna get that great up lighting, okay? They are on sale today, and they are free shipping. We never ever see that, or very rarely do we see with disc lights a discount in price and free shipping. Today is the day to buy them, okay? I am available in colors. They come in the bronze, they come in the stainless steel, and they also come in the green. The green might be the first to sell out. That's the one that matches your grass. You have the ability to lay these, like I said, flat on the ground, or you can stake them in. We'll give you 10 of the stakes and they stake right into the ground so that you don't have to worry about somebody kicking them around. Get these, you will love them. Uh, I, like I said, I have not seen them with free shipping and handling before. Luke Caputo is standing by. He'll tell you a little bit more about it. They're easy, easy decor. And they'll change the whole look of your house. Hey, Lou. Hey, buddy. Yeah, these are like the quickest way to get any kind of immediate gratification yeah. in front of your house. I mean, you know, if you want to change the look of your backyard, your front yard, whatever it is, you just throw these guys on the ground, use the stakes they come with, hang them on a fence post or on your mailbox. It's going to change the entire look of your front yard or backyard, okay? So very, very cool with these. Uh, what I love about these is that swivel feature, because, you know, just when I thought the disc lights were as good as they were ever going to get, they added that feature so that now you can actually aim the light. And you're going to notice that when you put it into the stakes, these stakes are not like the other ones that we've had for our other disc lights. There's actually an indentation on here that allows maximum deflection of the light, so you can put it wherever you want to. But let me show you what it looks like when the lights are down here, since I know Guy can't turn his lights down since he's outside. I'll turn mine down. Boom. Look at that. Now, the glow guy that comes off of these, look at my shirt here. When I turn this back toward my shirt, you could see that this is like a spotlight. And a lot of times, solar lights are disappointing. But this has eight of what we call the surface mount diodes in it, those little tiny wafer thin, almost computer chips that glow. They use very little power. They put out a lot of light. And you can see all the ones that I've got here. These are staked into a flower box right here. I've got this one on a fence post. And I put some on my backsplash just so you can see what that's gonna look like when that light's going up and hitting maybe the side of your house or a bird bath or a tree or something like that. But at the end of the day, this is the quickest, the easiest way to get that dramatic lighting outside your house and create a little bit of ambiance.
Uh, to show some of our footage that we've shot, because I think that's the most impressive way to look at this light. Obviously, it's daytime, so we can't really show. Here's the stakes I was telling you about that it's included with. All you do is pop it in the ground and turn it. There's a little switch on the back. Once you turn that on, you never have to touch it again. You don't have to take them up when you're cutting the grass. Uh, you, if you buy the weeder today, you don't have to worry about the weeder hurting them. Nothing will hurt these. And by the way, these are the, the light on these is very, very bright. That is actually my, is that my backyard? Yeah, it's my backyard. And I, if you, I wish we should have done the before without them. I, I forgot to do that. But look at how beautiful those look at night. Uh, that's a great shot. And you can see as it was just starting to get dark, that shows you how sensitive they are. And already I've got that nice little area of my property where it's lit up. I have white stones back there in the garden. There's the side yard of my house. And you can see how pretty we lit up. Uh, by the way, the boxwood spheres are coming up in the next hour at the lowest price ever. Uh, the two pack of those, those are the little uh, ones that are lit up in the front, the pair in front of the stairs. But look Look at, you know, Lou, look at the difference just a little light makes, right? I mean, Shoot. look at that. Yeah, yeah. I, I started calling this the theme park effect because, like, if you're in a theme park during the daytime, it's cool, it's nice, they look great. But when the lights come down at night, it's like magic. It's like yeah. something magical yeah. has transformed it, you know what I mean? And I want to show you because a lot of times people think disc lights or they think solar lights. And they're thinking something like this, you know, just a regular stick light. You put it in the ground and it makes that nice circle as you observed a few weeks ago, guy. So you can see what your mulch looks like or what your pavement looks like. You know what I mean? Who cares? These are up lights. OK, so when I turn the lights off in my room here, you're going to see now all of a sudden we've got that beautiful glow. And you can do different things with these than you can do with other lights. Yes, you can aim them, which P.S. normally you've got to buy a special solar spotlight to be able to do that. But the other thing you can do is this right here. I've got a glass sitting on top of one of these. We use it as a coaster. So when you got company coming over, it's like super cool to do that. How about this one, guy? If you want to put it in a luminary, in this case, I've actually got a little glass vase that I've got this sitting on. And you can see how beautiful that looks right there. I mean, that's what I'm talking about, is taking these. And actually, that's why you want to get more than one set, because you can take these and just use them in unusual ways. It's for me, though, if you're thinking about, well, gosh, what is this going to look like outside my house? If you've got shrubs, if you've got bird feeders, statues, anything like that, you're going to be amazed at the difference that up light makes. It creates drama. It creates atmosphere. Something that if you're just sitting in your backyard, and let's face it, it's springtime. We're going to spend a lot more time outside. Now's the time to make that look great, not just during the daytime, but at night as well. I love looking at the, the, like I said, the different ways you can use it. I mean, look at that. That's just a barbecue area. And this guy's like, hey, I get sun out here. Why not put it there? And Lou and I always talk about the difference between some solar lights, uh, whereas like uh, th that light up the ground, you know, I, listen, the one that Lou showed you, I mean, that's a little ground light. I mean, yeah, that, that might be good if you're if you're going to put it on a pathway. But if you've got landscaping, I mean, don't forget your dark, your gardens go dark at night. If you want to light up your, you know, your uh, your shrubs and you want to light up flowers and things like that uh, during the nighttime, your whole house, it changes the whole look of your house. And I always say, you know, when you go to a neighborhood that has lights on at night, it's very warm. It's very inviting. It feels safe. Right. When you go to a dark neighborhood and, and, and you know, I'm not talking about spending a thousand dollars on getting a landscaper out there to install solar light or, or to install regular um, wired lights, halogen lights, which burn a ton of energy. I'm talking about what, 30, 38 bucks, free shipping, buy a set of these, go outside at four o'clock in the afternoon and put them on the ground and then go into your house. And when then when they light up at night, you're going to say to yourself, that's the best thing I've ever done. It's easy. There's no digging. You know, it's not it's not like a plant, right? I love our plants, but you know, plants, you gotta take care of them. You don't do anything with these, but enjoy them. And there's that up lighting I was talking about. And remember, we could face it towards a flower, towards a fountain. We could face it towards the house. Maybe you've got a, a you know, your garage area. Maybe you've, like I have a shed in the side yard. I could put it out there. You can put these anywhere. You can nestle them in between as long as they get about four, five hours a day. My solar lights at my house get about four hours a day because I have a big house that's between me and the ocean <laughs> and it protects me. You know, I, if there's a hurricane, I'm glad I have that big house, but I don't get a lot of sun um, during the end of the day. I think my sun disappears around three o'clock. I get, I get sun from about 10 to about two o'clock, three o'clock, which is fine. It's Florida. I enjoy having the shade, but for my plants and things like that, and for my solar lights, it's actually ample. You know, I don't have any problem with it. You'll find that same thing because the, the solar cell is very large and I don't know how close you can come in here. This is it in the green. There's a very large solar panel. There it is. You can sort of see it right if I hold it correctly. I got a lot of, there you go. 
Uh, you can see that large panel, all right? And then on the back, remember I told you, there's one switch, turn it on, and then put them out there, and that's all you need to do. By the way, if you want stainless, I am down to 400, how many, 300? 375 left if you want it in stainless. People are jumping on board. We rarely do this with a discount and free shipping. <clears throat> so today I think a lot of people are loading up their cart. And, and let me tell you, if you, got a, if you have a decent sized property, get two sets. I know the, everybody's like, oh, it's the oldest trick in the book, buy two. It's free shipping. So it's worth getting two. You don't have to pay separate shipping on your second lawn. You're gonna get these home free and you're gonna love them. All right, if you don't use all 10, give some to your neighbor. I would love it if my neighbor had solar lights all over the yard. I'd love that, because they're beautiful. Uh, they will lay flat, you don't see them, you're not gonna kick them over or break them by walking on them or hitting them with the mower. And I've done that before, right? You don't have to worry about, them, about trying to jam them in the ground and breaking the pole, which makes them useless, right? Which I've done that too, all right? These will lay flat on the grass or they come with a spike that you can pop them in the ground to hold them steady. I especially like them in entryways. I like them in walkways. Uh, if you have stairs in your home, especially outside on your deck, got people over, people are having a few beverages, you got six or eight steps, not a bad idea to put them on the steps as well. Listen, if you can't reach it, use the pole saw. What's so nice about this saw is it extends. Uh, you open it up uh, in the center and it'll extend. You can, you can open and close it in any direction and get it to go uh, up to like nine feet in length, which is amazing. So if you want to get one of these, there you go. If you want to get one of these, I call it, we call it the two-in-one. You can use it as a handheld <clears throat> and then disconnect it, connect it to the pole, and now you've got a pole saw, which is going to give you so much more reach than just a regular saw would. The eight-foot extension, so I'm six feet. That means I can go 14 feet over my head. And I always say never use a chainsaw on a ladder hanging limbs and branches, firewood. This is not a little baby saw, okay? This is a regular chainsaw. I'm gonna expose the blade, okay? It's electric. You never have to worry about gas. You never have to worry about nothing. You plug it in with an extension cord and you're good to go. It articulates into any position you need, uh, which actually helps if you're going up in a tree. And I'll go up in the tree, let the saw go up, and just use the weight to cut uh, whatever you need. Uh, and then what you do, which is super cool, when you want to turn it into a regular handsaw, you simply unhook the front. This pops off like that. Okay, I go to the other side, and I unhook that. Handle comes off like this. I come over here. I plug this into here like that. Lock it. Handsaw. Pull saw, handsaw. $59 if you've never owned one get it. And I'm talking to you ladies because you can handle this. Uh, it's not big and heavy, okay? You got the two-in-one versatility. It's always been a customer pick on HSN. This is the lowest price I've ever offered it for. If you get a brand new HSN credit card, we'll take $40 off $19.99. Let's introduce you to my friend Pete Kilcullen standing by. Pete, it's raining here. I imagine it's probably raining there as well. It, but it I, we appreciate any demonstration you can do for us. <laughs> I can show you a lot about what makes this 2-in-1 pole saw great, but we won't be actually firing it up because we're inside. But, you know, many of the things that you talked about are exactly right, and I know you have a lot of experience with using this pole saw, but this one, 2-in-1, makes it so great. So now you don't really have to decide, do I want that handheld chainsaw? Maybe great for cutting um, firewood, things like that, or maybe getting for some plants that are lower on the ground. Some people even use them if you've got to cut that stubborn root as you're trying to, you know, do a new planting area, it'll be great for that. But some of the features that I really like, you know, when I look at this, all I can say is that I feel like Earthwise has designed this perfectly for everyone at home, just like you and I, Guy, that this is what you need for the jobs that you're going to do. I mean, you're not going to start a professional tree cutting business, but it has everything that you need. And so the first thing I'll talk about is that 10 inch bar and chain, which means you're going to be able to handle much larger limbs. Maybe not even the limbs, but that could be really more beneficial for when you are cutting firewood. It's going to be great. We have a toolless chain tensioning system where you can just get that chain tensioning um, perfect without having to use a tool. You're just turning that dial, which I think is great. We have the automatic oiling system. You just need to make sure we put that uh, bar and chain oil in there. There's a window to let you know and there's oil in there. There you go. And then it will automatically do the rest. The two-in-one part of this is amazing. I'll get to that in a second. But one of the things I know that if you've never tried a pole saw or a chainsaw is the safety features. And we've got a ton of them on this pole saw chainsaw combination where you have to hit the safety switch. We have a chain break. So you can feel great about using this, even if you've never tried a pole saw or a chainsaw before. 
I was thinking of buying one because I've, I've just because I have had two. I've actually I bought four. I bought one for my brother Darren uh, up in Connecticut. He loved it so much. He said, "Buy me another one. I'll send you the money. Buy me another one." He said, uh, "He goes. I'm going to take another one up to Vermont because he's got a house up in Vermont. He uses the one in Vermont all the time because of the overhanging trees. From winter weather, you get these big branches that hang over. He's like, I used to have to hire a guy to come out, you know, in in a with a lift in a truck." to cut those branches down. He goes, now I can do it myself. I can reach, it's, I can go 15 feet and I can reach all those low lying branches. And then he also uses it to cut firewood for his fireplace up there. Because remember it's handheld and pole saw. Lowest price in the history of HSN. I can say that because I'm the one that helped launch pole saws here with Peter many, many years ago, probably about eight or eight or 10 years ago. I've never had one lower than $69. $59 today, if you get a brand new HSN credit card, you'll only pay $19.99. You know what I really like about it, Pete? It takes all the scary part out of a chainsaw. <laughs> That's right. Because really the scary part about a chainsaw is you're dealing with a combustion engine that requires gasoline. Sometimes you gotta mix gas and oil. Uh, you gotta, uh, you've gotta worry about tensioning the, the, the chain. It weighs 30 to 40 pounds. It's scary. Right. It's this big. I don't need this big. Listen, I've used a regular chainsaw, all right? I helped a friend out, there was a hurricane back in Tennessee. My girlfriend's uh, father owned this barn. A tree fell on it. So I went out and we, we, we had two chainsaws and we cut the tree uh, away from the barn, but it was work. This is not work. I mean, this is, look at, this is a one-handed chainsaw. This is easy to use. You got the hand guard in the front. The only thing you have to do, by the way, we, we give you this, is put a little oil right here. I'll open this up. You see that little, that little window? It's like a fish tank right there. That's filled with oil, okay? And you can sort of see when I move it. See the oil swishing barrel? That's oil. What that does, and that's a good thing, it lubricates the chain as the chain spins around inside the housing. So you never have to worry about that. There's a tightener if the chain gets loose, which will happen from time to time. You know, you get some debris caught in the chain itself. It can loosen the chain. You can tighten the chain very easily. That's why I said you can handle it. And by the way, we even give you a bottle of the oil. It comes with the chainsaw. Pour a little in, put the cap on, plug it in, go to town. I just think this chainsaw, Peter, to me, empowers people not only to feel good about their property and do it themselves, but you save so much money. Peter, you and I live in Florida. If you had somebody come out and trim your palm trees, they charge you <laughs> by the tree, right? 30, 40 bucks Absolutely. a tree. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And, you know, and I think when you, even if you're in Florida or your other parts of the country, when you're using a chainsaw or a pole saw more, you know, uh, specifically, you're going to be using it at so many different times during the year that it just makes sense to have one. Certainly right now we're heading into the, you know, the summertime. So spring things are really growing quickly, but then you'll notice maybe my favorite time and the most important time to use your chainsaw is the fall when there's a lot of dead limbs and everything's really overgrown use it before we get into those winter storms. And you talked about how easy this is to use. So it's gonna be easy to use to get ready for the winter time. Make sure that you're pulling everything back from the windows and the cars and the driveway, even the front of your house. But this is an Oregon bar and chain. That's the industry standard. That's what everyone's using, even on those professionals. Yet we put it in a package that's so much easier to use. And one of the things that you know we hear about two and ones, oh, maybe it's okay at doing one thing but not the other. This is great at doing both. And when you see how easy it is to go from that handheld chainsaw, I'm still amazed about the technology. So all I do is lift that up and I can pull that apart. So now picture this was our handheld chainsaw. I'm just going to put the pole in the middle of these two things. So now I take this pole and I'm just gonna push that, snap it together, lock it in place, that's done. And if I slide down the other way, now I'm just gonna do the same down there. Push that together, lock it in place. You may have already still had it plugged in, ready to go, and that's it. Now you've gone to a pole saw, you have the adjustability here to make it longer or shorter, balance it correctly for you. It is fantastic, super easy to use. Because of that professional quality of that bar and chain, it's cutting through the wood beautifully. So you're not holding on for dear life. It really makes the jobs easy. You will surprise yourself when you start oh, using yeah. it. You'll say, wait a minute, why did I wait so long? I can do this. Totally, and I love the fact that you can adjust the, the length of the pole very easy. There's a little dial in the center, and all you do is turn it, and you can make it as short or as long as you want. It locks right back into place. That's all that you need to do. What I love about having the pole, couple of things. One, yeah, I'm tall, okay? Uh, Peter and I are both over six feet tall, so we can reach a lot of stuff. Maybe you can't, maybe you're five foot. 
maybe less. And you still want to get out there and you want to trim. That's what's great about having the pole. The other thing, Peter, is that I think for most people, if you have a, if you're a little leery about using the handheld chainsaw, having the pole moves you way down on the other right. end, away from the blades. And for a lot of people, that's what they want. They're like, I don't want to be that close. That's the, that's the part that scares me. So watch this guy right here. He can elongate it as much as he wants. If he wants to take down right. some of those dead branches and limbs, all he has to do is use the weight of the saw. You don't have to push anything. It is that easy. And you can get into nooks and crannies areas. Look at that. And clean those trees up. How many of you have branches hanging over your deck, over your, over your driveway? What are you gonna do about that? You gotta call a guy, he's gonna come out, he's gonna charge you 350 bucks, right? Or you're gonna go to the home store and you're gonna buy a regular chainsaw that, you, that you're gonna have to put gas in. It's gonna make, and it makes so much noise. That's the only real disappointing thing. We can't say, it's not even that loud, all right? Because it's not a combustion engine. It's better for you. It's better for the environment. No toxic fumes, no gas fumes, right? None of that bad stuff that's given off when you use a, a combustion engine. So it's better for the environment. It's quieter and you can handle this, okay? You got 30 days. That's what I'll tell you. If you're on the fence and you're like, I don't know, a chainsaw, please try it. I'm telling you, to impress my older brother with a power tool was pretty cool. Because he was like, and he even said, he goes, you know what, I didn't want to invest in a regular chainsaw. Now I got another thing I got to worry about pull starting. I got to put gas in it. I want something I can go out, I pull the trigger, and I'm cutting stuff.